What's up, people? Am I in focus? Hold on. There it is. Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you're as excited as I am for this year. I just have a really good feeling. I have a stupendous, exciting feeling for 2019. I don't know why. I think there's change in the air. I think there's cool cars everywhere. And I just made a rhyme. How cool is that? Before we get started in today's vlog, I just want to drop a few little bomblets uh, before we kind of make our way into what I'm going to do today. I don't even know what I'm doing today. What am I doing? I want to thank a few new subscribers. Actually, there's been a lot of new subscribers since we did the Woolsey Fire episodes. There's been a crap load, been a lot of new people. Recently, people from Scotland, of all places in the world. Amazing country, as are every other country out there. Big thanks to those uh, those people in Scotland as new subscribers, uh, England, Florida. I, I know Florida's not a country, but still, there's people there. We're going to have a really good time this year. Uh, you want to know why? You want to know why especially? Because this year, this year, we're going to be hitting vlog 1,000. And that, I don't know about you, but that, that's a big deal for me. That's a, that's a huge deal, especially when I thought that 100 vlogs was going to be a lot. We're going to be hitting 1,000, and we're going to do something truly fun for that 1,000th vlog. And it's it's not something that Kathy and I are going to do. It's something everybody's going to do. We'll get to that. Uh, we got a lot of other stuff that's going on. Uh, I'm going to be working on the, the Woody book. The coloring book comes out February 1st. It's going to be Surf Woody's, and it's going to be freaking awesome. We also have Wheels and Waves. It's coming on the 20th, January 20th, and I have a, an announcement about that, and that is... Wait for it. My buddy Johnny Martinez, who is a pinstriper, master pinstriper, he's going to be doing a demonstration at Wheels and Waves, and he's going to be striping. Now, not, not just like normal striping. When, when guys go and they're stripers, they go to, go to shows and they stripe things. They stripe cell phones. They may stripe uh, uh, things that people bring, like a bowling pin or, or whatever it is that they stripe. No, not Johnny. Johnny is going to be striping something truly spectacular because I got an email from a friend of mine, a couple of guys that own an original, just restored Von Dutch Velocet motorcycle. And it's nearly finished. It's nearly finished, but it's missing. Haha, <laughs> it's missing the pinstripes. So it wheels and waves on January 20th from 7 to 9 a.m. at the Malibu Country Mart. Johnny Martinez is going to pinstripe an original Von Dutch bike. And you gotta come and see that. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I'm super stoked about that. Can you see why the, the year is starting out with a bang? Then this weekend, really quick, this weekend I'm going to the Peterson Museum for the Shelby Cruise In. It's about 350 Mustangs and Shelby Cobras. It's gonna be a freaking awesome show. And uh, I'm just gonna go to that show with uh, pretty much all you guys. Oh, and Ken's gonna go too, because that's that's what we do. All right, I'm ready for the day. I'm ready for the day. I think, I think I'll just start out with a walk. Something that's through the neighborhood, because it's such a beautiful day. Let's go take a walk. I'm not really talking to anybody. There's nobody over there. I'm just kind of, you know, that's kind of, that, that's just cool.
We are in the 38 Ford, and this morning we decided to uh, to go for a little bit of a hike. Kind of a short one. Kathy's got her new vegan cap on. Yeah, I Susie like gave it. Gave it to me. Very nice. And uh, I'm not sure where we're gonna go, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Did you bring the food? <laughs> to hit Malibu Bluffs. Are you still with me, Kathy? I think so. There she is. And uh, uh, the fires didn't touch this area. Oh, look at that view. Although the last fire burned this whole place, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this um, this uh, did not, was not affected by the, the Woolsey fire, but uh, definitely got torched the last one before that. Uh, it's grown back, looks really good, and it's a gorgeous day to hike. Time can never be your trusted friend or your sworn ally. No, it's the harshest mistress of all. And life is just a chain of moments spent, a thousand hellos and goodbyes. Goodbyes. Maybe a love like ours can leave out its call. What is the 
best part about driving around in a 38 on New Year's Day for you? I feel like I'm a gangster from the 30s. <laughs> My Tommy gun engine seat. Oh yeah. And uh, a lot of those gangsters wore hats like that too. I think they did. Yeah. I think I got it through correct. I was hoping to get back here in time. How's the light? All right. Uh, to get back here in time to do the first Woody sketch, but alas, there isn't a lot of time to do that. So I'm going to be starting that tomorrow. Have an amazing meeting tomorrow also with a company called Limited Runs. Uh, that's going to be something, a, a big event that's going to be happening this year. The 38, the 38 Ford, uh, courtesy of the Murphy Museum. If you guys have been to the Murphy, you've seen this car. It's It absolutely runs like a charm. It was about an $80,000 restoration. The car runs like a top. Amazing. Uh, it's been hot rotted, so it sounds great. Uh, it's just one of those classic drivers that you could drive all day long and it would not show worse for wear. Not, not, nothing whatsoever. We drove out, uh, I didn't shoot this, but we drove out and saw my dad and just got kind of hang out. He's 91 years old, or gonna be 91 this year. He's doing doing great, he's writing a new novel. A uh, guy just keeps busy, it's those little fingers, they just keep going and going. I did wanna say thanks uh, for a, a couple of things. One is that, that we, th this past month, because of the holidays, we got an enormous amount of people who bought primarily the Mustang and the Corvette books. These two right here, the Mustang book and the Corvette coloring book. I want to say thank you to you guys. Uh, if you bought one of these books, I am very grateful and I want you to know that 10% of proceeds for all the books goes to Hope for Paws, which we make a donation every single month based on how much we sell. So you can feel good that as you're coloring, uh, there's there's uh, good stuff going to Hope for Paws. Check out their channel. There's a there's a YouTube channel. Just type in Hope for Paws or their, their, their website. They do some great stuff online and they're saving tons and tons of animals uh, here in the Los Angeles area. And briefly, I wanted to wrap up uh, that, you know, we talked about uh, uh, resolutions and diets and why those things don't work. And they don't work because we, we set an intention to change but we're changing under duress. We're not changing because we really want to. We we're, uh, feel obligated. We feel a sense of guilt and we gained a little bit of weight or or we just not happy with the way things are necessarily. And uh, and that's not the way you change things. In fact, if you if you are, are dealing with somebody and you want them to change, you don't change them by making them wrong. You change them by inspiring them, by, by giving them stories of, of inspiration, stories of change. And you plant a seed in them and you got to let that grow and you got to be patient. And that's how you you deal with people, with employees, that's how you deal with kids. So important to inspire through what it is that you do. It's what we're trying to do with the, the coloring books. It's what a lot of my friends are trying to do. If you're an artist and you, you found a way to, to, to funnel that art through a, a variety of ways, then you can you can do that art and it inspires other people, not necessarily to do what you do, but to do their own thing. And that's as creative beings, that's that's what we're here, is, is to be able to express ourselves and to be able to put that stuff in motion. And that's the kind of resolution that you want. You want to do more of what's cool. You want to put out there, I just want to do more things that make me happy and set the intention of, of being happier and improving yourself as a human being this year. And that's what 2019 is for me. But my gift to you guys through the vlog here, through the books, is to hopefully inspire you to do your own thing. And I hear from a lot of you. Me inspiring you guys, you inspiring other other people, is that we keep that train going. And we want to be able to improve, as I said, improve as, as people, improve as in our relationships, improve our, our finances, improve in, in every way that we can. So your resolution this year, the only resolution that matters, is that you need to be a better person tomorrow than you were today. So Happy New Year to you guys. I hope this year Year is going to be spectacular. I know it is. It's certainly going to be that for me. I can't wait to see a lot of you. I'm going to meet a lot of you at upcoming shows and a lot of different things that we're going to be doing. And be sure to check out our calendar on fireballtim.com because we list all the shows that we're going to be attending, that we're going to be filming at and doing a variety of things. But stay tuned with us on this journey. A thousand vlogs is coming. This is the year 2019 and we're going to be doing some rocking stuff, man. Super exciting. We will see you guys very soon.